Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, we're going to be promoting Rebirth Jessica Cruz from normal level 50 all the way up to level 50 Elite 7. So at normal, damage is 10,375, health is 19,318. Battery Ram 2,075 to 4,150. Getting the hang of this, 6,225 to 12,450. And the Beware My Power, 15,563 damage. So promoting up to Elite 1, damage goes from 10,375 to 15,562. Health goes from 19,318 to 28,978. So at Elite 1, Battering Ram, 3,012 to 6,225. Getting the hang of this, 9,337 to 18,674. And the Beware My Power, 23,343 damage. So at Elite 2, 20,750 damage, 38,637 health. Battering Ram, 4,150 to 8,300. Getting the hang of this, 12,450 to 24,900. And the Beware My Power, 31,125 damage. So promoting up to Elite 3 for 47,000 credits, which is a temporary thing. Damage goes from 20,750 to 31,124. Health goes from 38,637 to 57,956. So just to recap on Rebirth Jessica Cruz, she is currently only 47,000 credits to promote. If you're watching this patch 2.14 video and got Rebirth Jessica Cruz in the last update, make sure that you spend all of your credits and max out this card. And even on Android, if they don't patch this up, max out this card immediately. So going from Elite 2 to Elite 3, damage goes from 20,750 to 31,124. Health goes from 38,637 to 57,956, which is a huge jump. So the battering ramp, 6,225 to 12,450. Getting the hang of this, 18,674 to 37,349. And the Beware My Power, 46,686 damage. So promoting up to Elite 4, damage goes from 31,124 to 36,312. Health goes from 57,956 to 69,547. So at Elite 4, Battery Ram 7,262 to 14,525. Getting the hang of this 21,787 to 43,574. And the Beware My Power 54,468 damage. So promoting up to Elite 5, damage goes from 36,312 to 41,499. Health goes from 69,547 to 77,274. So at Elite 5, Battering Ram 8,300 to 16,600. Getting the hang of this 24,889 to 49,799. And the Beware My Power 62,249 damage. So promoting up to Elite 6, damage goes from 41,499 to 46,686. Health goes from 77,274 to 86,933. So at Elite 6, Battering Ram 9,337 to 18,674. Getting the hang of this 28,012 to 56,023. And the Beware My Power 70,029 damage. So promoting up to Elite 7, damage goes from 46,686 to 51,874. Health goes from 86,933 to 96,592. And unfortunately, unless you've used the breakthrough mode to get a Green Lantern Jessica Cruz up, you cannot go past Elite 7 until you unlock breakthrough cards. So we will be doing that hopefully in the upcoming days before they release a patch 2.0. For one. So the battery ram 10,375 to 20,750. At rank 2, 11,412 to 22,825. At rank 3, 11,412 to 22,825. At rank 3, 12,450 to 24,900. At rank 4, 13,487 to 26,974. At rank 5, 14,525 to 29,049. At rank 6, 15,043 to 30,087. At rank 7, 15,562 to 31,124. At rank 
16,081 to 32,162. At rank 9, 16,600 to 33,199. And fully upgraded 17,118 to 34,237. So the getting the hang of this 31,124 to 62,249. At rank 2, 34,237 to 68,474. At rank 3, 37,349 to 74,699. At rank 4, 40,462 to 80,923. Rank 5, 43,574 to 87,148. At rank 6, 45,130 to 90,261. At rank 7, 46,687 and 93,373. At rank 9, 48,243 to 96,486. At rank 9, 49,799 to 99,598. And fully upgraded 51,355 to 102,711. So beware my power at rank 1, 77,811. At rank 2, 85,592. At rank 3, 93,373. At rank 4, 101,154. At rank 5, 108,935. At rank 6, 113,085 damage. At rank 7, 116,717. At rank 8, 120,866. Rank 9, 124,498. And fully promoted 128,648 damage. Alright, so as far as gear goes for Rebirth Jessica Cruz, there's two options you can go for. Obviously, offense is the way to go, but you can go for either pure raw damage, which is obviously better once you have her augmented, which I don't. You could also go for the interesting play, which is use Gauntlets of Azrael. With the Prometheum Longsword and Rasha Will Scimitar, the advantage of this is that you have ways to heal up besides just doing basic damage. So I think this is the optimal way to gear up Rebirth Jessica Cruz. If you're using Rebirth Raven, I highly recommend two-piece LexCorp and something else that gives a direct heal or even basic damage or something else. Now for a third person, I honestly don't recommend uh rebirth wally west i would honestly go for killer frost or 600 wonder woman i think that's way better synergy with rebirth jessica cruz so to start off we're going to do a five battle matchup in multiplayer we're also going to use killer frost to dampen power so the team and we're going to use raven use, normally rebirth i would use jessica team titan or rebirth raven however she is not promoted so it's not very optimal raven. so for raven we're going to throw the entire fourth world set on her just to give her a means of annoyance so we're going to get the 4th World Mace on her. And for uh, Killer, Killer Frost, Frost, we're going to give her the 2-piece Lex Corp. We're also going to give her the Ibis Stick for burn damage Killer in case Frost. we're dealing with annoying 4th World. So the main thing with Jessica Cruz is don't get overwhelmed with damage. Obviously, I think we should start with Raven first. That way we can deal with Arkham Knight Batmans if necessary. So we're going to do a 5 battle matchup showing off this team highlighting Rebirth Jessica Cruz. So in the first battle, we have a Teen Titan Cyborg, Green Lantern, Sinestro, and Batman Returns Catwoman. This is really unfair. How in the world did we get matched up with this easy team? Begin. So since there's no threat, we're going to use Rebirth Jessica Cruz. Now watch this healing. Absolutely ridiculous. 23,000 healed. And that was with not even that many crits. So let's get off a battering ram. You can see the damage. Wipes out Cyborg in one hit. That shot does nothing, so let's get off another one. It's for 17,000, and the shot knocks out Sinestro. But that combo under is definitely deadly. And we have all the power drains, nothing can stop them. As I've said, I really think that Killer Frost is better than using Rebirth Synergy. However, if you have Rebirth Raven, you don't need Killer Frost because you can power drain manipulate a lot easier. You still probably want Raven, though. 3,200 battle points, 710 credits. For the second battle, we have Ruhazoe, however you spell it. We're up against Arrow, Green Arrow, Arkham Knight, the Arkham Knight, and Arkham Knight, Harley Quinn. Again, we have kind of a weak matchup, although we have a level 60 Elite X Arrow, Green Arrow. 
Starts with no power, so let's get Jessica Cruz in to see how quickly 90,000 health goes down the drain. Looks like he's got fourth world on. So Arthur Knight Harley Quinn is it. Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, basically it's one shot. There's the Arkham Knight. Jessica Cruz is almost at three bars. So we're going to go off the Beware My Power, and is this enough to get rid of Arkham Knight the Arkham Knight? Yes, it is. So Green Arrow is back in. Not even near half a bar of power. And that's going to get completely drained. So there's the Stasis from Kilowog. And down goes Green Arrow, although the Resurrect effect, however, no power, doesn't really matter, easily eliminated for the victory in a second fight. Twelve thousand four hundred eighty XP. Five thousand battle points, nine hundred credits. All right, so in the third battle, we have Word ODC going up against Suicide Squad the Joker and Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad Deadshot. All cards are level 50 Elite 7. The biggest threat, obviously, is that the Joker starts with power. Yes, he does. So we have to get in Killer Frost. Now, this is not going to be blockable. We probably should have just yellowed it, but this is not going to do that much damage. Yeah, there's the life drain. That's probably going to be all the offense they're going to get. 9209 from the heavy attack. We're going to heal all of that back up. And there's the Kilowog. We could have used the getting the hang of this. So there is Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. That's still going to do some decent damage. So that puts Raven at two bars. We're going to go off the Soul Crush on Deadshot. That just wipes him out. And we're going to go off the Black Ice. Suicide Squad, the Joker, and Hinge probably eliminated here easily. And we're going to go off the Batter We don't even care about Diablo. It's a piece of crap. So there's the Resurrection. Harley Quinn stands no chance for the victory in the third fight. 12,480 XP. 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. The reason that we put Killer Frost in to deal with the Suicide Squad Joker is that if he would have power drained, we would have got the power. So now in the fourth battle, we have an Injustice 2 Superman, Red Sun Wonder Woman, and Red Sun Green Lantern. Really interesting choice for a team. Superman has 8 promotions, Green Lantern has 10. Now it's going to be really difficult to deal with Green Lantern because he cannot be crit or stuck. Again. However, we could still do this with Superman. We don't have to do that. Superman using his combos on Jessica Cruz. Oh, she does have a decent health pool as well. We block that just to avoid crit damage. We're going to heal most of that right back up. So Red Sun Wonder Woman has a stun mechanic. 32,000. Looks like fourth world on Wonder Woman. I'm fine with that. Let's go off the getting the hang of this because she comboed. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. Wonder Woman basically gone. Let's go off a of Twilight's end. That's probably going to get rid of Red Sun Wonder Woman, no problem. The Green Lantern is at a bar. I really don't care because we can power drain that down or just take a shot. That's going to get power drain. Actually, he's got Lex Corp, so we're going to take a Beware My Power. Really good putting LexCorp on the counter that we had no idea. That might kill her. No, it does not, although the punch will. Now we're in a little bit of trouble. Although I think Fourth World was on Wonder Woman. Flying Punch is blocked. So now we're going to need to deal with Green Lantern with the other two first and then deal with Injustice 2 Superman. So that reverses the power drain. I got off nothing. Turbine Smash gets blocked. 
Let's get off a cold as ice, and I feel that's enough to get rid of it. Yes, it is. So Flying Punch gets blocked. So at this point, we're going to get off a cold as ice, and he's going to block that, which sucks. And again, he blocks. That is still doing damage with the burn. I don't know how he's going to be able to deal with Raven, though, but... That's why Red Sun Green Lantern with Lexcorp, very powerful. Let's get Killer Frosted. I don't know how Red Sun... Er, Justice 2 Superman is going to be able to get to a bar before Killer Frost. I'm going to go off the Black Ice. Down goes Injustice 2 Superman for the victory. Twelve thousand four hundred eighty XP. Five thousand battle points. Four thousand four hundred credits. All right. So in the fifth battle, we have J Hearted sixty eight with an Injustice two Aquaman, Injustice two Superman, and a Rebirth Wally West. Superman, the Superman has weird Superman. gear, all chest plates. Aquaman. Injustice two Aquaman, Rachel Ghoul's Trident, and League of Assassins the Death Blade. Rebirth Wally West. This guy obviously does not have much set gear. Begin. Aquaman starts at one bar. Justice 2 Aquaman is at two bars. We're kind of waiting for a special. I really just want to swap him for being annoying. Let's take a little more damage here. Alright, so Jessica Cruz is at two bars. There's the swap. Now let's get in Rebirth Jessica Cruz. Get rid of Injustice 2 Aquaman right off the bat. Let's get to do a shot on Superman and just get rid of his barrier. So he is at one bar. I'm not really threatened by a punch if he gets it off. That's going to get power drained completely. So you can see the power of Rebirth Jessica Cruz's combo. There's a Kilowog. So we're going to go for another getting the hang of this. I don't believe it's blocked. Nope, so Superman is gone. Killer Frost is in at two bars. Unfortunately, we didn't see anybody with the Enchanter's gear, but as you guys know, it is now blocked out from disabling specials. Let me go off the Endless Whiteout and pierce Wally West Cop. If this doesn't eliminate him, it's going to do a lot of damage. It takes out about half of his remaining health. I don't know why we swapped to Raven there. Let's just get in Jessica Cruz and finish this off. One combo should pretty much do it. Kilowog getting the hang of this. Rebirth Wally West eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 12,480 XP. 14,280 battle points. 2,624 credits. And we received 3 energy cards. So if you like this video on Rebirth Jessica Cruz promoted to level 50 Elite 7, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!